Welcome to today's video. Today is the release day for the Traveler's Notebook 2024 Diary. I was so excited and I got them super early today. So I can also share with you the whole collection so we can have a look at it together. So get cozy, grab your cup of coffee as I have here, and we're gonna go through the whole 2024 lineup. Whether you're new to Traveler's Notebook and trying to see what system will work for you, or you're like me, who just goes crazy over anything they make, this video is for you. But before we begin, let's talk about this year's theme. For those of you who are new to the Travelers, they come out with a theme every year. This year's theme is Traveler's Town. Let me read you a little bit of the blurb that they have here. The Travelers are back in town. Traveler's Town has been quiet for the past few years, but the Travelers are back in our town. Travelers are getting off at the train station and airport. Hotels that had been deserted for a long time are now crowded with travelers. At a coffee shop, I can hear unfamiliar conversations in foreign languages from the table next to mine. And as I opened my traveler's notebook at my favorite diner, a fellow traveler said to me, I use the same notebook as you do. The return of travelers brings life back to the town and reminds me of the joy of travel that I had forgotten for a while. Now let's do a quick look at their previous themes. 2020 had a traveling theme. 2021 was all about books and reading. 2022 was about movies and movie soundtracks. This year's theme is coffee and notebooks. And next year's, like I mentioned previously, is Traveler's Town. It's a really nice touch that there's a different theme every year. Just something fun to look forward to on top of getting your usual planners. And now, after that lengthy introduction, let's have a look at the 2024 diary lineup. I think the best way to do this is by first going through the dated refills and then finishing off with the limited edition plastic sheets, folders, and stickers because those are extra fun. Okay, let's start with the refills that go with the Passport Size Traveler's Notebook. We have here the monthly refill and the weekly refill. Very straightforward. Um, these are the only two options for the passport size and frankly, really the only two options that you need. Uh, let me show you the look of the refills inside in case you're deciding on what to get. These are the weekly refills. Weekly refills come in a set of two with six months each, six months of the year in each. All refills come with this travel guide, which we read a little bit of earlier. It basically explains the idea behind the year's theme. A quick break and a bite off of my coffee bun. And my coffee is starting to get cold as well, so. Okay, back to the refills. All dated refills also come with the 2024 themed stickers. These ones here, great for decorating the cover of your refills. Again, these are the weekly refills. I like how they use two different shades of blue for each one. Just a quick way to differentiate between the two. Uh, the weekly refills have the week on two pages, as you can see here, with Monday to Thursday on one page and Friday to Sunday on the other, plus an overview of the whole month on the bottom corner there. That is it for the weekly. Let me know in the comments below whether you're getting or already got yourself this refill. Um, now we're going to be moving on to the monthly. The monthly refill is also pretty straightforward. Also a lot of, uh, we once again have the 2024 guide and of course the sticker is super cute. Um, a lot of people find the monthly pretty small, but I personally like this one the most because I carry my passport size traveler's notebook everywhere with me so it's great for quickly jotting down appointments and whatnot uh, this refill opens with also like an overview i'm gonna show you an overview of the current and the following year next it has the year at a glance 
you have appointments to write down for eight months from now or something, these are great. This is great. This refill also starts with, it starts in December of 2023 and it ends in January of 2025. It has the world map on the back. It's a traveler's notebook after all. Has some um, conversion has a conversion chart page in the back as well as a page for your travel plans on the other side here um, and I believe some blank pages in the back for extra notes and that is it for the passport size moving on to the regular size refills we have three options here for the regular size traveler's notebook. I love the colors that they have here. Take note that none of the other year round refills come in these colors. Let's start with the monthly. It's basically just a bigger version of the one that I just showed you, um, but we'll open it anyway because I also wanna show you the guide that comes with the regular size refill. I just love these illustrations. I love that they give a different design for the different sizes. The regular size dated refills also come with fewer but bigger stickers. Um, the one that we have here, as you can see, still in keeping with the year's theme, of course. And here we have the guide. Uh, look at how cute this is. I'm kind of torn between wanting to keep it this way and wanting to cut it apart and put it in my journal. Now let's have a peek at how different this is from its passport size counterpart. At first glance, it looks completely the same. It has the year view for both 2024 and 2025 here. The year at a glance is a favorite page of mine to use for birthdays and anniversaries. In the back, same as the other one, we have the world map. We have the some helpful conversion charts for travelers and a page for putting your travel plans and some long pages in the back for notes or for trying out pens, which is what I do generally. And that is it for the monthly rebuild. Let me know in the comments below if this is what you'll be getting for 2024. Next up, we have the weekly vertical. I love these Paul colors. You're going to see... It's in like orange and like I believe like a brownish brown color, brownish brown, a brown color. My husband may or may not have picked vertical weekly refill over the horizontal for next year just because of the color. Again, these come into refills, each refill with six months each. It has like the monthly, it has both the current and next year in full view here. Compared to the monthly, this has more space for the year at a glance pages with each spread having only four months each. This one starts in December as well. And this one will end in June. And the other refill will start in July and end in, I believe, January of 2025. It has a more detailed setup than the horizontal, similar to an appointment book. This includes a time from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. So I think that this is such a great setup if you have a lot of appointments or meetings in a day. Or if you like having a structured day, I feel like this will be the perfect refill for you. I personally haven't used the weekly vertical refill because I generally work the same hours daily. And there's just not a lot of things to write about in this format for me so yeah uh anything else it's different oh um mm, hmm. so the second refill starts on the last week of june and has the first two months of the following year on the year at a glance spread okay i think that's it So let's wrap this up quickly so I can move on to the next and final refill, which is the weekly horizontal or weekly with memo. This was the setup I used for many, many years, and I'll tell you why 
later. Again, this comes with a guide and the same, yeah, the guide and the same stickers as the other refills. It's another set of two refills with six months each in these nice, cool blues. Um, same year to glance in the first few pages. And now for the weekly spreads, it has the full week on the left side here from Monday to Sunday. You have your memo on the right side of the page. Lots of space for extra notes or decorative stickers and or illustrations. Which is why I have been enjoying using this specific kind of refill since 2016 because that's the kind of journaling that I do. This one is a good refill if you like saving ephemera like museum tickets or photos or labels and sticking them to your planner because you have space for that here. Or if you like writing a lot of stuff. Anyway, again, these are the three options for regular size regular size traveler's notebook, the weekly horizontal, weekly vertical, and monthly. Let me know in the comments below which of the three you're looking into getting or if you already got one or two. Finally, we are now on to the limited edition stuff. These are generally part of the diary lineup of traveler's notebook and have the most designs in, term, in terms of the year's theme compared to the dated refills. I don't know that I have used for folders every year, but I really cannot help but collect these, especially these stickers. Living in North America, we don't have easy access to all the cool stickers Traveler's Notebooks, Traveler's Notebook come out with in Japan. So it's great to at least get something once a year. So we're gonna do that last. Let's start with these plastic sheets or underlay or pencil boards, whatever you call them. These ones, compared to the folders I use all the time, as an underlay for my pages, as a ruler, or as a bookmark, and they're just so cute. I just had to get them. This is probably my most favorite design out of all four. I love the map, and I love how they were able to include previous themes and themes for special editions, like this year's Traveler's Diner, right here that's really cool or traveler's records and then there's traveler's diner under it um you have hmm, traveler's train from last year's special edition along with the traveler's hotel it's really cool seeing it in a map form traveler's notebook is so great at trans Supporting you to a scene and here's one that I really want to travel to. I'd love for Traveler's Company to actually have a town like this. Uh, next we have here is the passport size version of the plastic sheet. Let me just adjust the focus on this one. The style on this one is very similar to the way Traveler's do their other stuff. That retro style graphic probably inspired by suitcase stickers. I just wish the color on this one isn't too Christmassy. I do love Christmas, but I don't know. I would have preferred a different color palette. Still really cute though. Moving on. Well, let me set that aside. Moving on, we have folders. These designs you've seen previously on the diary guides from the refills, but we'll do a closer look here in a bit. Initial review is that I love these colors and I love them together. Like that orange and that light blue, sky blue. Beautiful. So the clear folders, they are sealed on two sides and it's probably great for bringing with you when you travel because you can just slip some receipts in here or any sort of ephemera you want to bring back home from a trip. It's great if you don't have the Traveler's Notebook zipper case or any of their plastic pockets. This is great for, for that purpose. Um, let's talk about these illustrations. I like this watercolor style. And again, I like that they included designs from older themes like a bookstore here and maybe some Easter eggs for future themes like this Traveler's Park or the market down here. 
this is um, a really fun illustration. I do wish that there's sort of a cohesive look between the folders and the plastic sheets or the stickers. Just kind of like an overall look for all of them. But, you know, I'm, we can't have everything that we want, so it's okay. <laughs> but anyway, this um travelers uh, well passport size folder i really liked from the very first time i saw it this illustration just it reminds me of shimoki tozawa where my husband and i stayed during our trip to japan last year and i guess this is why the theme of travelers town is super nostalgic for me this is things will be great when you're here which is true things will be great if we're in japan <laughs> but anyway this transports me back to Shimokitazawa. I love the theme of Traveler's Town because it talks about the town opening once again to travelers after being quiet for a while. And we went to Japan about a month after they reopened and they were closed for a while due to COVID. So the idea behind 2024 is Travel Town and the joy of traveling expressed on their guide is such a tender representation of how I feel or how we feel now that we are able to travel once again. So yeah, I talk too much. Um, before I go on full blown waxing nostalgic, let's wrap these up so we can move on to the final item on the lineup, which is the sticker set. Like I mentioned earlier, Traveler's Notebook come out with multiple sticker sets a year, but those are mostly available in Japan. And us here in North America kind of have to wait for special editions available to us. Otherwise, the only traveler stickers we can get are these diary sticker sets, which frankly are kind of great. They look really nice. I'll show you exactly what each set has. The first sheet, the first sheet, is always this sticker sheet that features their retro style design. My personal favorite on this sheet is this polar bear sticker. Um, I love that they made it look embroidered. I like patches. I like getting patches. And this looks close enough. <laughs> so yeah. And anyway, we're going to look through the other sticker sheets. I love that they're very varied. They thought about um, all the stickers that you might need on your planners. These are uh, the planner stickers with little icons. They have everything going to a salon. There's a sticker for that. Drinking a bottle or two. Boom. There's your sticker. Um, watching a movie. Sticker. Finish the book, sticker. I just, I, I love it. I love this. They have a sticker for everything. This is great. Um, next sheet is this dry transfer sticker, which frankly, I don't use often. I have this year's sheet in my drawer untouched. I just, I don't know. I'm not very good at using them, but I will try next year. Just rubbing this, rubbing this, which is how you're supposed to use it. I'm not very good at it. Anyway, these are clear colored dots. Love these. As you can see, they're clear. I'm gonna have to put that back so I can actually use them. And then there are these cute stickers that have a slot. You can put in notes and stuff, I think. Let's try. So yeah, you peel that part off and this part is supposed to be a slot for um, putting in loose pieces of paper, loose sheets of paper. We're going to try. It's hard and I'm struggling, but I know I'm right. Okay, so just, just take my word, just take my word for it. These have cute illustrations as well. And part of my 2024 resolutions is to use more of my stickers, including this one. And now on to the last sheet in this set. 
This is the index tab sheet that has two sets for the regular size traveler's notebook and for the password size. These ones I actually use. Here on the cardboard backing, by the way, you have a guide for how to use the stickers or dry transfers or whatever else found in this sticker set. This sheet is one of the most useful for me. I actually like using these index tabs over anything else I've tried before. And anyway, that is it for what's included in the Traveler's Notebook 2024 Diary lineup. I don't think that I've ever spoken this much in a video before, but I hope that this helps in giving you an idea what system to use for 2024. Don't forget to leave a comment below to let me know what you'll be using for your journal setup for next year. Thank you so much for watching. See you again next time.